<laughs> hey YouTube, how's it going? My name is Ashley Drennan. I'm a London-based, UK London-based abstract expressionist painter. Welcome to my studio. Um, these are little uh, updates I do every Wednesday evening just to start sharing what I do and how I do it. And the reason I started doing this was because um, I have a nice little following on Instagram and people were asking me more about my studio practice and what that's like and I said it would be a good idea to do it on YouTube so thanks for tuning in thanks for watching um this week has been really exciting because yay finally I'm exhibiting again so I did my first exhibition last night was the private view in Mayfair in London at the Decontemporary Gallery in conjunction with ArtCan, which is like this fantastic arts organization. Um, it's the first exhibition I've done since March 2020. March 2020 was my last solo exhibition at the Graham Hunter Gallery, um, also in Mayfair. Um, and it was lovely, like it was kind of a bit surreal in a way because um, I'm not used to going to private viewings of exhibitions and meeting other artists and like seeing my work placed amongst other people's work and um, it was a really lovely experience and really um, really kind of a bit surreal in a way too but just you know I just want more let's get going I hope I hope we continue can continue to exhibit now as we move forward um, so I'm currently finishing this new series of work I started this new series of work about uh, two or three months ago. If you've been following me, you'll already have heard me chat about it. If you're new to it, um, I'm going to do a promo through my newsletter. So my newsletter is on ashleyandren.com. Just sign up. You'll have preview access to this new work and you will have a discount for four of those selected paintings just to say thank you for signing up to my newsletter. So I've been working on this new series, uh, yeah, it must be about two or three months ago. And I've been taking people on this whole journey of, of how a painting literally begins from scratch and then finishes up, you know, as the final painting. So on my Instagram, because I have been more active there, like I started out with panel boards and then it was applying primer and sanding it off. And you do that three times to get a good uh, base layer for oil paint because I'm an oil painter. Um, and then I go through the process of using paint studies to start developing ideas for the paintings and palette and tone and brush marks and all that. Um, and then I start to transfer what is working onto the panel boards. And then, you know, generally it doesn't always work, which is why there's a delay in finishing the paintings, you know, because there's going to be an element of, uh, of failure about it. And that's really important. Um, and then I kind of get into the, the finishing stages. So right now, I've just finished the, the final painting. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But a lot of the work is over at my photographers. And I wanted to share a bit about the process of um, uh, when you finish a painting, you know, it's, it's not just photographed on my iPhone and put on my Instagram or on my website. Like it's taken over to a professional photographer. And, um, you know, there's a lot of thought and editing that goes into it. So yesterday when I was with my photographer and I've been working with him for about three years now, I have a really good working relationship and he was saying to me that my paintings are the most challenging paintings to photograph because um, A, I'm working with like gradient and tone. So you can see here, the base is quite dark and it moves up lighter. So that's difficult to photograph. Um, B, it's oil paint. So um, when you use flash photography, oil paint can um, reflect the light. So if you have any areas that have thickly applied paint, they can almost come out sculpturally if the light bounces on them in the wrong way, if that makes sense, because um, it might be flat on the painting surface, but if it's photographed full on, the light will bounce off the, the like lump of paint, making it stand out more. So then we have to adjust the, the lights around the painting to see what is the best way to capture those areas that because I use oil bar and oil paint and charcoal. So trying to get the gradients right with those and the texture. So it's, it's a lot of work. Um, and it was it was a really good conversation to have with him actually, because he's he's funny, he's really nice. Um, so yeah, that's I kind of just wanted to share that because because the whole reason I do these videos is to share the whole process of how painting is made and everything that goes into it. You know, it's it's uh, 
not this idea of you come into your studio and you make nice paintings and you just you know post them on Instagram and that's it like there's there's a whole big process that goes on behind the scenes and uh, I love it but I think it's really good to share and uh, let people know what it's like so um final painting is this one which I'm quite pleased with and I feel like through this journey of making these paintings, I've um, really developed and pushed boundaries. And I know what I want to do now for the next set of paintings I, I make because I've learned so much through making these. There's like 14 or 15 of these 40 by 40 centimeter paintings. So let me just bring it down, I'll show it to you. Okay. So, first of all, Loving the smoothness of the gradient on the base here. Now I went out on a bit of a limb with this one. Wasn't sure what way it was gonna go. Wasn't sure about using these um, bright red, orange oil bar marks, but I wanted to give it a good spark. So behind me, I used a lemon yellow as a, I love to have like a color pop in the painting. And that worked really well, but I didn't just want to repeat that because I wouldn't have, push the boundaries and tested the water, so to speak. So I went in with this vibrant, vibrant red and orange oil bar, which I think does give it a good pop. It's a really good complementary color to the background. Um, I also played a lot with dry brushing with a darker color over the lighter color. So it just adds that sense of texture. Again, pushing through to the back layers pulling them forward, starting a conversation with these under layers and then these final finishing layers and dragging the paint here again, connecting the base mark, base boulder into this one, starting that conversation, that visual conversation. So it's good, like I'm pleased with it. I really wasn't sure yesterday when I was finishing it, what way it was gonna go, but um, yeah, I'm quite happy with it. So this is, like I said, these are 40 by 40 centimeter Panel boards, they do have some studio handling on the sides, um, which is part and parcel when you're making handmade things. Um, there is framing options available. If you sign up to my newsletter, I will be explaining all that in my upcoming um, newsletter about these paintings. And, <laughs> so, once this dries, this will go over to the photographer and along with this one, because this one is still drying. And then, um, yeah, I'll be putting everything together to title them. So that's the next stage. Um, titling work is really important to me. I always try and capture the frame of mind I'm in at the time of making the painting. I think it's really important to title the painting because you put so much time into it. Um, and then sort of organizing them for my website and my newsletter. And yeah, so that's kind of it. It's funny now, because I'm at the last painting, I don't have so much to say. There's loads of other things I can chat about, but I probably won't because I'll be here for ages. Like I want to start giving some recommendations of um, artists that I like, artists who have influenced me um, and have pay played a role to get me to where I am today. So that is all folks. It is getting hot in London. My studio is warming up. Um, and thanks very much for tuning. If you have any questions, please do comment below. Uh, pop over to my website, ashlingdren.com. And yeah, we'll see you again. Thank you. <laughs> I always forget how to turn. Oh, yeah, in stream. Mm.